Hello everyone, Derek Johnson with Tatango.com. As you can see, I'm not in the office today. I am actually in New York City for the GSMA RCS Thought Leadership Lab, where we're talking all about RCS, uh, where it's at, where the future is for RCS. But this video actually has nothing to do with RCS. Uh, it has everything to do with shared short codes. Now, why am I doing a video on shared short codes? Is because we're getting reports of more and more shared short codes being shut down. And now if a shared short code gets shut down, that means no messages go out, no messages go in. It's very, um, very bad for businesses. Now, what is a shared short code? Well, first off, what is a short code? Short code is a five to six digit phone number that is used by businesses to text message people. What is a shared short code? It's when multiple businesses use the same short code. So let's say pizza place, nail salon, uh, they use one, two, three, four, five. If both of those you know, businesses are using the same phone number, that's a shared short code. Now, most shared short codes have thousands of businesses, people, developers using that shared short code. Now that's usually not a problem, but it becomes a very, very big problem when one of those people that are using the shared short code violates the rules of the wireless carrier. Back in the day, uh, <clears throat> they would maybe suspend the short code, then they would kick off the person, the one person, you know, on that shared short code, then they would reactivate that short code. That's no longer the case anymore. The carriers have really taken a very aggressive approach to shared short codes. And they're essentially saying, look, people can use shared short codes, uh, but if anybody violates the rules, using that shared short code, we're shutting it down 100%. You can never use that short code again. Um, all those businesses, sorry, you know, but really, you know, you shouldn't be using a shared short code in the first place anyway. You should be using your own short code, a dedicated short code. Uh, so what's happening is when, you know, one bad person gets onto that shared short code and sends spam or, you know, violates the carrier rules, the carriers are just shutting down uh, the short code. That's the end of the day. You know, no, you know, uh, they're not going to turn it back on. That's just it. So then you're leaving all those businesses that were following the rules. They don't have a short code anymore. They can't message their customers. So I want to be very clear that if you're using a shared short code, you have to be aware of this risk that essentially your phone number can be shut down and it has nothing to do. That's the crazy part. It has nothing to do with your usage of the phone number. It has everything to do with all the thousands of people, developers, businesses that are also using that short code. And if they violate the rules, the short code will be terminated. So I want to give a quick warning because I've been seeing this more and more happen. And a lot of businesses, some of them don't even know that they're using a shared short code. Most businesses don't know anyone else that is using the shared short code. So you can't really vouch for you know all the other thousands of people. Um, and you're putting your business and your messaging at risk. So the alternative is a dedicated short code. A dedicated short code is one that is only used by you. The best part about that is as long as you're following the rules, it won't get shut down. Shared short codes though, even if you're following all the rules, it still can get shut down because it could be one of the other thousands of people, developers, businesses that are using that, sh uh, that shared short code. So quick warning, I um, hope everyone's having a great uh, week and uh, we'll talk soon. If you have questions about short codes, shared short codes, dedicated short codes, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.